Happy Thanksgiving, pen pals. I'm Tom Otto for Goldspot Pens, and I'm also super grateful that you joined us for another installment of our monthly Top 5 Pens. Let's look at the month that was in the world of fine writing. This time of year is a socially acceptable opportunity to express gratitude. Ideally, you should be grateful every day, but no one's perfect, right? Besides my usual thank you for watching this video, I'd like to express my thanks for the 12,000 Goldspot YouTube subscribers that join us in this wild adventure of analog writing. Huge thanks go to the man behind the camera, Chris, for producing these videos and making me look better than I do in real life. I'm also grateful for the rest of the Goldspot team. Josh for his flawless product photography, Dawn, Asha, and Bella for their courteous customer care. The entire shipping department, Karen, Evelyn, Kelsey, Manny, Sveta, Bob, and Eileen for picking and packing like North Pole elves. Thanks in advance to Erica, Aditi, and Shika, and Akshay for when the new version of the Goldspot.com website eventually launches. And of course, thanks to Sal and Kieran for signing our paychecks. Here's my quick disclaimer about this list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, customer reviews on goldspot.com during the month of November. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. At number five on our list is the Coeco Sport Skyline Turquoise Fountain Pen, which is also transparent. It's a demonstrator. It's a classic type of pen because not only is it just very classy design, it's a vintage design uh, based off a pen that was originally made in the early 20th century, but it also has a very classic appeal and also a, a design that makes it the perfect pocket fountain pen. Why? Because it starts off very small. It has an octagonal shaped cap so that when you put it down, you don't have a clip on it. It doesn't want to roll away on you naturally. And despite its small size closed, when you open it and you put the cap on the back, it becomes the normal length of a you know, typical fountain pen that you would write with, with the cap on or cap off. So it is quite adaptable to being able to bring this with you as an everyday carry type of pen. This is our exclusive design that we had produced with Coeco. It arrived very shortly after we came back from our trip to Germany, where we had visited the Coeco factory in Nuremberg and talked with the CEO, which we have videos of, of course, on our channel. And we came up with this design, or specifically this color idea of it being a transparent sort of sea glass green, oh, we call it turquoise, but it, it is modeled um, in spirit after the 1911 sea glass that we debuted last year that was from Sailor. So this is a, is a pretty fun pen just for starters, for people who enjoy writing with pens, who enjoy writing on the go, because you could do multiple things with it. First of all, this pen comes in five different nib sizes. So you have the range between extra fine and double broad. So if you like a smooth, wet writing experience, you could go up to double broad. Or if you like something that's really, really tiny thin, you wanna make little small notes on a note card or something, then that extra fine is good for you. You could also fill it three different ways. So you have an international size ink cartridge that comes with it. And these are fairly easy to find. You could find them in the Coeco brand or Diamine or uh, a multitude of other brands make this type of cartridge. Or you could use, which is an extra separate item so that doesn't come with the pen, is a sport converter. This little mini syringe guy would stick onto the section of the pen like you would a cartridge and you would slide up and down the little piston mechanism here to be able to draw up your ink. So you have that method. Then you also have the eyedropper fill method which you would put a bit of silicone grease around the threads. You would drop the ink right into the barrel, then you would screw it shut and you've got a barrel full of fountain pen ink. And then also what the other item that I have here is a sport clip. So I did mention that this has an octagonal shaped cap which allows you to just kind of lay it down without it rolling away, but if you were so inclined and you like clipping your pen to your pocket or to your shirt, you've got a clip that just easily slides on and off. Well, not too easy because you don't want it to fall off, of course, but slides on nice and easy so that you could have a truly customizable writing experience that will work for you 
and your writing habits. At number four on our list used to be a quartet of pens, but now for this video is only three, I have the Narwhal Piston Fill Fountain Pens. And unfortunately the purple one, the purple hippocampus is missing. It is currently out of stock, but we are receiving more in the near future. And we have these guys with the little crabs too, which have been quite the surprise as far as pen accessories go. They are adorable of course, and they hold your fountain pen in a magnificent sort of atlas uh, shrugged sort of way where it just really, you know, it's just, it's fun, it's cute, and it also looks pretty good on your desk too. So the, um, the Narwhal Piston Fill Fountain Pens have been quite the rage since they came out during the DC Pen Super Show in August, and uh, people are really enjoying just the, uh, the nice writing quality, the acrylics, of course. You have the Poseidon Blue, which is a bit more on the opaque side, but has a lot of uh, pearlescent and chatoyant uh, characteristics. But then you have a color like this, the Yellow Tang, which is far more transparent. You would see those ribbons on there. You could see clear straight through to the piston mechanism that's behind it and you can see the section. And this one is the only version of the Narwhal that actually has gold trim and a gold plated stainless steel nib. Other details about this pen, you have your barrel band here that has Narwhal engraved on it. And it very similar to how like the Visconti Homo Sapiens has it here, it is the same sort of uh, design, not exactly the same of course, but uh, same sort of characteristic here that adds a little bit more weight towards the front end of the pen. And also too is you have the Merman Green. So yeah, Merman Green, it's usually mermaids you would hear mostly of, but this is a Merman Green. So kind of like Zoolander where it's like, not it's merman dad so like this is merman green which is a bit more on the opaque side similar to the poseidon blue uh, still has a great deal of swirlies and uh, a little bit of that translucency you could definitely see if there would be ink inside your barrel or not you could see the piston mechanism through there but it's a lot more smokier than let's say the yellow tang or the hippocampus purple so um, these guys are kind of a little temperamental in stock, so um, especially the crabs too, because people have been just buying the crabs, which is great, you know, but uh, but it's also kind of a little crazy with stock because it takes a while to kind of get these guys to come in, and then once they sell out, you know, especially during this time of year, it's a little, you know, it's a little crazy of a situation, but we do hope to get another shipment in fairly shortly. So um, these are definitely a fun item. So not many people may have heard of Narwhal pens, but we are doing our best to kind of get the word out there. There's a few other retailers that are also carrying Narwhal pens. So it may not be that uh, certain pen enthusiasts may have already heard about this, but there's a decent chance that if you get this for somebody who's somewhat interested in pens, or maybe is looking for their first nice pen, that this might be a really great gift to give them for the holidays. Number three on our list is, oh, shocker, it's a rollerball pen but it's a Retro 51 Rollerball pen, and you know that they have not been strangers to these top five lists. This is the new Blue Lagoon Retro 51 and Gold Spot pens exclusive. It's part of what we call the Ombre Collection, and it's pretty easy to see the reason why it would be called such a thing. It is the whole idea of like the Ombre fashion or the hairstyle, uh, nails. It's that gradient effect that goes from one color and then transitions to a different color. So. I just want to kind of give you a little behind the scenes in this um, to introduce this model because I just want to share a little bit more about this pen and, and show you the, the design elements that kind of go into it. So we originally started with a pen that um, it had a bit more of a sharper contrast and this is uh, two different versions both in like a satin chrome trim and one version was glossy the other one was matte and it really didn't jump out to us and you can see like the tops are kind of a little dark side too but this was so sort of like the baseline concept we wanted to have a pen that went from like a turquoise to a dark blue and we also wanted to have the silver trims but we weren't completely sold on the on the the satin version of it so then a new version we came up with then had a pearlized metallic finish and with the polished chrome trims 
And this one was a bit better in terms of like closer to where we wanted it, but like the gradient effect really wasn't there. It almost seems like a one tone sort of pen, but we loved the um, metallic car paint like finish that was on here. And we also liked the top was a bit more of a translucent sort of color as well. So this, this worked, but we needed to push it just a little bit farther with the final version, which you'll see is like very similar to the version before, but definitely has a bit more of that contrast from the dark to the light. And this might, may seem a little less on the saturated side, but definitely has that deeper concentration of the darker color towards the end so that you could see that ombre effect pretty nicely. These are uh, brand new exclusive, like I mentioned. These were designed in collaboration with us. As you see here, we kind of go back and forth with Retro about the design, about the uh, the coloring used and the, the overall uh, you know, the trims and things like that. So it, it could sometimes, especially with our Skyline pens, it could sometimes go back and forth several times before a proof even gets sent, an actual physical item. It's a lot of work and I really appreciate Retro 51's patience when it comes to working with us on these because we're really persnickety about what kind of pen comes out on the market and what pen that you guys would like. So um, a lot of people have re really been enjoying these pens. These are a little cheaper than our normal Retro 51 exclusives because it's just a very plain pen. It's not a very heavily designed pen. It doesn't glow in the dark. It doesn't have acid etching or anything like that. So it does come under $30, which is a pretty nice price point for a Retro 51 Tornado, especially a retailer exclusive one, which some people just tend to just jack up the price on, especially these eBay people, it's crazy. But hey, you know, if you're looking for a really nice pen to use or to gift to someone for the holidays, you really can't go wrong with this Retro 51 Ombre Blue Lagoon. So at number two for the month of November, you might be looking at this and saying, if you've watched the other videos that have come before, you'd be saying, oh no, the Vanishing Point Tropical Turquoise has been dethroned, and it has because it is number two on our list this month after being number one for the past two months. But this is a gorgeous pen. This is still remains to be one of the best sellers on goldspot.com because we have the very few of them left, and we're probably one of the only retailers in the United States who still has them left. And uh, it is just an amazing knockout limit edition that Pilot comes out with only once a year in the edition number of 2019 pieces. What's so special about it? Well, it's a retractable fountain pen, of course. It's pretty cool in that aspect. Um, but what is also special is that it doesn't come in your usual lacquered finish or your uh, standard everyday finish. This finish is just an amazing sort of ode to the ocean, ode to the tropics. It has a marbled uh, aqua marine and green and blues and it has rhodium trims and everything. So it has that nice gleaming polished quality about the trims and the clip. And of course, the, the effortless click function of a Pilot Vanishing Point. I mean, you really can't get any better of a retractable fountain pen than that. The uh, nib unit here is a medium point, but like we've been doing with all of our customers that buy this pen from us is that we're offering, if you wanted to swap it, we do have the rhodium coated 18 karat gold nibs in stock in a variety of different sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, and 1.0 millimeter stub nib. And they all come with this uh, CON40 converter, which I know many people have much to say about this type of converter, but hey, it's a converter. Um, or it uses cartridges as well, which they give you the items in here to use for your uh, cartridge filling pleasure. In terms of being able to select your nib choice, you can put an order comment when you place an order for this pen and we'll do the swap for you. No extra charge, no nothing, but you'll be able to get the nib size that you would like on this limited edition. And you should definitely be checking this out because it is very limited and we are not going to be getting any more of these once they are gone, they are gone for good. So definitely check out the Pilot Vanishing Point 2019 limited edition Tropical Turquoise before it washes out to sea. Number one on our list debuting this month is the Edison Newark limited edition gold spot exclusive fountain pen. And you might have seen a video on this earlier this month. Back on fountain pen day, we released it. It is a stunner of a fountain pen. Definitely was like one of the things that in the last several years I've been working 
and working and working with Brian to try and come out with one of these, but for so long, his machinery wasn't there, his help wasn't there, his space, his capacity to be able to create another limited edition for another company wasn't there, but finally everything's caught up. He's finally gotten to the point where everything is comfortable and is able to accept uh, more work for this sort of thing. So he was finally able to accept my request and create a brand new exclusive design for us at Goldspot Pens. And the Newark is named after Newark, New Jersey. You might be saying if you're a Newark native or uh, a New Jerseyite, a New Jerseyan, that why Newark? It is actually one of the first places that Edison had stopped at. It was the first place that he actually had a lab before he actually started the Menlo Park uh, research facility. Newark was his first kind of like place where he had started his career. It is very similar in um, the, with the grip section and relative to the size of a, let's say a Menlo fountain pen. And you can see all the dimensions and the comparison in our video that we did about the Newark. Beautiful streamlined sort of finish. It's, it's, uh, it's like your, it's a little bit of a tapered cylindrical shape with flat ends, has a nice clip that's got the little ball at the end there. It's uh, bandless on the cap. And just th this pen is just such a pleasure to hold in this section. The section's nice and long, has like that little flare out that's towards the end, and doesn't really have too big of a step, even though when you cap it, it's fairly streamlined. It, the step is really very small, so you could even hold it farther back if you wanted to, and really it's just, it's a very nice hold to this pen. The material is a nice blue, dark blue swirly material that's semi-translucent, similar a little bit to the narwhals that we took a look at earlier, but definitely a little bit on the darker side. Each pen is individually numbered out of 50 pieces. And as of this point, I believe that 20 pieces are left or so. Um, definitely one of those things where if you really enjoy this finish and you love the color, um, we are planning on coming out with maybe some more colors in 2020, but they won't be limited edition. They'll just be a standard line and they won't be this color. So it's not like we're here to tell you to buy this now because we'll just come out with more later. No, this one's gonna to be gone for good. They won't make them in this version ever again. What we do is come out with another version, another couple uh, styles in different colors, but definitely not in this particular acrylic uh, ever again. A little bit more about this pen is that you have the converter it comes with is a standard international converter, or you could also opt to silicone grease the threads here and then eyedropper this pen. So that would be kind of cool because you could then take advantage of the full volume of the barrel and there is no uh, separate uh, finial that's over here. So it's all one solid piece. So there's no threat of it possibly leaking out of the pen uh, either way. It was definitely worth the wait, Brian. You made me wait all this time, but it was definitely worth it. This is such a great pen. Thank you so much. So that's it for our top five pens of November 2019. What to expect in December? Well, it's the craziest time of year for us. Although we are in a brick and mortar department store, our team will be working longer hours to keep up with the increased order volume. It all starts with Cyber Monday, which is the online equivalent to Black Friday sales. After that, Goldspot will start the 12 days of pens. Each day after Cyber Monday will feature a new one day only special offer. Sign up for our email newsletter. There will be a link in the below description comments to receive these exclusive deals. If you're looking to place an order and have it arrive by Christmas, be sure to do so earlier in the month to avoid the stress of last minute shopping. If you do find yourself in that unenviable position, we recommend placing your order by December 17th if you're located in the United States and last month if you are outside of the US. That's a shipping joke. No? Okay. International pen pals should place their orders as soon as possible if they are looking for an economical first class shipping. If you can budget the upgrade, select priority shipping for DHL's reliable and fast service that will reach most countries in two to three business days. If you need any help with selecting a fine writing gift, please feel free to send me an email at tom at goldspot.com. From all of us at Goldspot Pens, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice, Boxing Day, Omisuka, and Festivus for the rest of us. Thanks to all of you that support Goldspot Pens by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on goldspot.com. Stay inky, my friends. Take care.